Hello everyone and welcome back to my Tech vs Magic series. Today we are going to continue on from last time with our newly crafted stuff. Let's see, let's get everything we need. I ripped out everything that was down here. All those biogas engines and everything are all gone. So that we can have a clean slate to work with and make something nice and useful. Let's see, wooden, um, power, more power, some of those. We have redstone. Should have been a little bit more prepared. We'll need the gates later. Uh, waterproofing, that is what I'm looking for. I thought I had some. Maybe I don't. No, it doesn't look like I do. So, get some that. And we'll probably just take this crafting bench with us to save having to come back and forth several times. Okay, so I'm not really sure what we're going to do with the liquid DNA yet, but I'm not going to put the engine there, that's for sure. I'm going to have them come off the boiler. And since I don't think I'm going to put anything right here, we'll probably end up putting it here, and then the engine's uh, near it. This is the edge of that. And that's okay. Yeah, that's under the chest, so we should have plenty of room. Um, put it out a little bit so we have room for pipes. Actually, a little bit further than that. Let's do the water first. So we need a three by three. There. Put that there, that there, actually put another one here, pop go there, then we just need another bucket of water, I should be able to fix this. Okay, so there's that part. Then we want our redstone engines. Here, there, there, there. And let's see, we're going to power these like that. Digger bag is sucking up all the cobblestone. So we'll need just two levers for that. There, and let those start getting warmed up. Not using pipes for this because pipes would actually slow down the water flow. I hope we have enough uh, room here. Let's see. It's three high, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that works. Excellent, excellent. That's filling up quite quickly. Then from here, going to have our engines. We're going to save this area here for some of the refueling. So you probably should save some of that area for refueling. So maybe we'll do it this way because refueling probably won't come from over there. 
No, I still want the engines here. So we'll do the engines here. So these can be, I guess, just right next to each other. Uh, that was four. Two more. Gonna have so much power. Okay. Then we'll just have them. Wait. We wanted to have them along the floor here. Let's do the uh, water tubes first before we get into this. So those are going to be a bit more tangly. Uh, yes, um, more of those. There's probably too many, but we'll use them eventually. Okay, so they can't connect to each other, or their efficiency just goes to the crapper. And I think anywhere from the boiler works, so... We have one right there. I mean like this. Like that better. So it does matter how close we put these together. And that can come actually along the side of this one. And then I have one coming out. Um here. I have another bowler there. Or another engine there. Actually, let's do this from way up top. And from over a bit as well. Okay, that's two. Then you. Be like right here. Then another one way up top. That's four. So we need two more. Mm, looks like we're going to have to have a couple right here. So let's see, how would we have that laid out? We'd have to put the power above them. So we have one there, one there. Guess we can go ahead and set these down. And those two are going to get power from that side. Then one here. And one. Here. So how does that power look? Like that. And then we can just come straight around like this. That'll work. So you're going to be... Probably right there, and right there. Okay, you need to go over one before it gets there. Yeah. So right about here. Then you... Just need to come there. I hope this is enough production for all these. Oops, that's the wrong type of pipe. Two pipe stuff. This one. 
Okay, actually all these are going to get powered by gates, aren't they? So I don't really need them. As far out as I have them. But this will do. How is it on water? It is getting there. I hope that one pump is enough to keep it going. Then let's see, we need energy coming up in this direction. We're also going to need energy here. And actually we're going to need a constant stream, maybe. I'm not 100% sure how the extra bays machines work. Maybe we'll just manually power these and see if the pipes explode or not. Yeah, I don't really need that there, but I don't want to hold it. Okay. Um, don't think we're ready to turn that on just yet. Let's see about getting some more machines up here. Um. So where were those? We had the isolator, the purifier. Um, I think my any eye things off because I don't remember which order they went in. Um, sure. oh, that's the first one. No, that's the second one. The first one is not that one. Inoculator, replicator, splicer. I don't think we would ever need a replicator for anything. Since you can just continually refill the vials. Um, oh yeah, the one is... Never mind, this is the first one. One is the machine that we use to craft these. Purifier we will need uh, a little bit. The replicator was the one we didn't need. The inoculator. Synthesizer. Wasn't there a splicer or something along that? It's around here somewhere. Splicer. Yeah. Okay, we'll have the splicer go first. Let's see if I'm missing anything. Um, gene pool, sequencer. Sequencer's over there. So the sequencer should probably be right here. And you can go there. And we need to move that pipe to give it some power. Okay. Ah, one short. Um, okay. I can handle that. Actually, we probably need all these. And then the waterproof. Alright, so that's another one down. Then we need power along here. Probably some liquid DNA too. I'm probably going to have to make some of those facades. I can just go like that. That way we'll have enough. Um, okay. Back up we go. Wait, let's back one. Okay. Um, so like this. And, ah, oh, that's still not right. 
He's to go up one too. This, then all these. Okay, now that one's right. And now I'm one short. Okay. So, isolator? No, the uh, sequencer. Then the isolator. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this very much. That one does not need liquid DNA, I don't think. Um, the... Okay, we already have the isolator. So the purifier, inoculator, and synthesizer. So probably the purifier is the next one we want to go to. Then the synthesizer, then the inoculator. Yeah, that, that's how we'll do that. Um, I'm going to go cut down this. And around back here. And then we'll put some pipe for the liquid stuff. Okay, that one doesn't need it either. Now that's the um, thing. Okay, so those are there. That like that. And this. So we still need power there somehow. And we still need to get liquid DNA here somehow. I think we can do that from here. Just follow this. Okay, it's a little bit messy, but it should work. Now then, I need to make some more of the gold pipe, which is the crafting table's down here. Now, and then I think we're getting close to done. Oh, it's empty. It's empty, oh no. Okay, so this goes under it. And let's see. Now would be a good time probably to melt these guys. Start up our production. And go make some of those facades. Wow, that's really going through the fuel. I hope we have enough. I think this should last a couple hours at least. Maybe not. Okay, I will be back once I've made the facades. Okay, this is running, but it's almost used up both stacks of that. That's pretty bad. Uh, hopefully it can, hopefully we have enough fuel for it to get all the way up to 
maximum temperature so that it gets a little bit more efficient. These are running near full. And we'll go up here, check on these. Yeah, they're starting to get charged. Still have that too. But we can just put that uh, here, probably. First, let's put... How do these work? Okay. You don't have to shift click. Um... Hmm, can I put it on top without taking that off? Probably not. So where are you? May not have made enough. Oops. Strange one, and let me place it there. Okay, there it goes. And over here, we'll do the same thing. Okay, we actually didn't need to take that off anywhere but here. So that's good. Um, I have one of these here. Okay. Oh, that was the wrong thing. There, that looks better. Cover this up, it should look fine. Okay, you are getting your power, I hope. How about you, are you getting your power? It's hard to tell. Do these need to be a certain color before they start outputting? They need to heat up, maybe? Okay, how is this going? It's getting there. I'm going to go get a whole bunch more fuel and I will be right back. And we are back. It's still not heated up. I've been throwing like everything in here that will burn. Charcoal, wood, furniture, small children, anything. And it is taking a ton of fuel. I might should have went with a low pressure one or something. So this one, we forgot to hook up the squeezer again. So that is what we're going to do here. Just like that. And we'll put you there. Uh, just take some power from here. Those extra beam machines are losing a lot of power for some reason. Just dumping it. And wasting tons and tons of power. So we need to set the recipe for that. And this is the other chest. Yes. And I think that might be it for this episode. Let's get this up and running. Let's see how much power it is getting. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. That is. Some power, not very much. 
Yeah, we're producing 48 Jetic. And it's still just... Doesn't look like it's enough for these. I don't know what I'm going to do about that. Probably disconnect them when I'm not using them. And I still want to run power to this so that I can hook up the heater and fan. Um, we might have time to make that. Let's see. No, we don't have time, so I'm just going to make it off camera. Producing? No, okay. Yeah, I'll just make the, uh, forget what it's called. The Avalary fan and Avalary heater. That's just how you make them. Gold tube there. For iron, then two gold tubes. Not difficult, and they require five Minecraft jewels a tick continually. So if I separate this and then run a line, I should be able to hook up at least one of them. Maybe this one instead. So that I can breed some of the other types of bees. But that's going to be it for this episode. Like if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Thanks for watching. And I will see you next time.